good evening i'm not gonna be on here long i'm just here to do a quick to do a quick video on covid pcr collection as well as the dna collection okay so i'm gonna start with the covid pcr collection these are supplies the vials the swabs and the bags i have a but oh the bags right okay so when the client comes in you you know you greet them good day welcome how may i help you they're here for covid test what you're gonna do you're going to have them sign in you're gonna have them fill out their client authorization form you're gonna make a copy of their driver's license you're gonna also have them complete the covid form which the document is right here and it's also in the group so this is the authorization form all you gotta do is type in authorization or consent form and this is the covid questionnaire when so they come in they sign in you hand them the clipboard and you make a copy of the driver's license once that is done you're going to give that back to them when they're finished you already your system is pulled up where you have to create the requisition form while they're completing their um consent form with the information that you receive on the id you go online and you log into your portal off of omega to create the re the requisition or the assist accession um document you're adding a new patient especially if they're a new patient if they're not a new patient then you just select their name but if they're a new patient you go ahead and put in the demographics which would be their name their date of birth the ethnic background their race their phone number their address you don't need to put anything where it says health information id or health client id nothing to do with health because it's not insurance this is pure cash pay okay once that is done you're going to go ahead and add new patient and print out the document the document that you're going to print out it's going to have a barcode with their name and the date of birth on there you do not need to have labeled paper once you print it out you just cut the small pieces just cut the actual document it's going to be a barcode similar to this and it's going to print out just like this plain white with just the barcode and the information once it comes out you just cut the square and you're going to go ahead and tape it on this vial reason being this vial is very small so you can't write anything on the vial so that document that you print or the requisition you're going to print it out and cut it is going to be like you know square even square and you're going to just tape it on just like this direction tape and tape it on the company is going to tell you do the same exact thing because the vials are just too tiny okay that way you don't got to write anything on there as well so that's that it's time for the client if you are administering a test you're going to direct the client and let them know everything that you're doing or instruct them you know inform them so they don't get scared they are aware if you're having them do the actual administration themselves, which is administering the swab on their own you're still going to instruct them what to do so for example mr smith came in hi welcome how are you doing you're here for a covid test okay go ahead have a seat sign in on the sign in sheet can i have your driver's license thank you and i just need you to go ahead and fill out all the paperwork that's on the clipboard okay i make the copy of the id i went ahead and go ahead and add the new patient mr michael spit make sure all his demographics that's on the id is on the actual act requisition then i am going to cut it out print it out and then i add him as a patient and i cut it out and i print it out and i went ahead and stick it here right okay cool now, since I'm going to administer the test, I just say, okay, Mr. Dix, Mr. Smith, you can come stand in front of me. I go ahead and I remove the swab. I just need you to go ahead and tilt your head back. And I'm going to do a mid-nasal because there's mid-nasal and there's nasopharyngeal. Nasopharyngeal goes all the way up towards the eyeball, di eyeball, eyeball direction. We're going to do mid-nasal where it just stays in the area of the mid-nasal pathway okay go ahead and stick it in there say so mr smith go ahead and tilt your head back i'm right now i'm going to go ahead and administer this swab gently and i'm going to give i'm going to go in five circular motions on the right no nostril all right now that i'm finished i'm going to go ahead and take it out and go, go ahead and stick it in the left nostril five circular motions all right mr smith i'm now removing it and i'm going to go ahead and dip it into the vial 
on the vi on this swab there's a little rigid part where you broke so once you stick it in there you break it and then you close this once you close this you go ahead and you put it inside of the biohazard bag right there and then you seal the bag that's it once that is done once you seal the bag you're going to go ahead and get a pre-printed label on the FedEx bag and you go ahead and you want to make sure it's the FedEx bag. They're going to send all the supplies to you, but the FedEx bag is going to be the UN3373 pack. That is for fluid samples, okay? Specifically for those type of tests. You're going to go ahead and put the biohazard, sealed biohazard bag in there, seal it, drop it off to FedEx. You are done until the results come in. You're just going to say, Mr. Smith, the test results takes about 24 to 48 hours after the test is received in the lab. Okay. All right. Two days later, the test came back positive or negative. It pulls up on your system. Remember, he completed his consent form and everything. So it has a valid number as well as uh, you have a valid number as well as an. All you're going to do is um, select the option to print PDF. And you can download the PDF and you email it to him and you're done. If it's positive or negative, you're going to just send him that information. If he's positive, he'll reach out to his PCP. And if he's negative, he's fine. He has the documentation for himself. That is a simple COVID test PCR collection. If it's the mouth swab, it will be the same thing. Okay? All right. For DNA. Let me go ahead and put this on the side. For DNA. We have, like I said, we have products that you can sell. So clients can come in and actually purchase the products and they will do the collection and you will ship it off. And then the lab will charge you as the lab, as the collection site for the actual test. So if you charge your client $375, but then the lab, but then the lab charges you $150 to test. 150 from the 375, the balance be, be, it's yours, okay? So that's what you would do. When it comes to completing the paperwork for DNA, it's as simple. They will contact you and let you know that a DNA test is being issued. You're going to have documentation, which would be the case number, the fax information with everyone that's coming in, the collector training attestation, Right here where it says case number, you will put the case number here, okay? You will make sure you complete this as well. This is the collected information. And then this document is the authorization. This is basically the CCF form for the DNA testing. You will have the mother, the father, the mother, the child, and the father complete this. If it's a mother and child, mother, child. If it's a father and child, father and child. If it's mother, father, child. You have them complete this. If it's an other relative, it's an other relative, right below here it says additional party, that's where you would complete it, okay? Once they, you want to make sure they complete everything in that area. Down to the bottom is the collector's information. Make sure you complete this to its entirety, okay? This also goes with the sample, okay? All right? Once all of this is completed, you will also hand them each recipient an envelope and each of them must complete the patient's name initials and date and if they are the alleged father the child the mother whichever one they are they will select that and as the collector you will complete the collector's area the collection for dna it's four swabs per person two on each side okay so mr smith he came in he completed his paperwork he his wife and he his baby mother and the child they completed the paperwork now, each of them have to do swabs. Prior to them doing the swab, you must take a picture of them, whether it's with your, your cell phone or instant camera, you got to take a picture with them. Not only that, you're taking a picture, basically like a mug shot, just like this. And you're take so they're standing in front of you. No, make sure they don't have any masks, no gloves or no glasses, no gloves, mask, glasses or hat. You want to make sure they remove that. They stand in front of you and you take a picture. You want to make sure you get the head as well as the case number. Okay? Like a mugshot. If you guys know what a mugshot is, you know, and if you don't know, Google it. Okay? All right. Once that is complete, everyone, so the child, the adult, everyone gets a mugshot. Okay? You are going to instruct them and let them know this is what's going to be done. Mr. Smith, Miss Smith, 
I need you to come in front of me. We're going to go ahead and do the administration. Stand ahead. I need you to take this mouth swab, put it on the right side of your cheek, apply pressure, and go around in circular motions about 10 times against your cheek. All right. So while Mr. Smith is doing that, you're going to have the envelope pocket open. So when he's finished, he can just stick the the swab, the mouth swab in here. It doesn't go back in the packet. It goes right in the envelope. He stick it in there. You give him another one on the same side, 10 times. He stick it in there. You give him another one on the next side against his cheek, circular motion. Stick it in there. Another one, same side. And then he stick it in there. Once that is done, you're going to get tape and tape the envelope because you don't want to apply any of your saliva on this because there's sample in there. So you just take piece tape and tape the envelope. The next person does the same thing. The envelopes are completed. They're filled out. The mother comes in. You tell her the same thing. Go ahead and stick the cotton swab. Apply pressure to the right side of your mouth and just go back and forth in circular motions 10 times. Put it in there. Take the second stick. Same side. Circular motion 10 times. Put it in the po envelope pocket. You give them the other one, the third one. On the other side, the left side, stick it in there 10 times. Same thing. So two on each side. Once that is completed, everyone has done their, com their, their collection. Everyone is every, and, and it's every envelope for per person. And it's taped. Then you're going to have all the paperwork. You're going to double check and make sure everything is filled out. There's no missing blanks or anything that needs to be completed. Once that is done, if you have an instant camera, the pictures are going to be printed right away. If you're taking a picture from your phone, you got to print them out from your computer, from your printer. You print them out. Once you get all pictures... All copies of the ID. You want to make sure you make two copies of the ID so you can have a copy and you send a copy as well. Okay? Once that is done, you're going to take this, this, as well as this, those three documents, plus everyone's ID and everyone's picture. You're going to do this, plus the three envelopes. And then you're going to fold it. This must stay on the outside. And it tells you right here in the instructions, okay? There's a clear Ziploc bag that it comes with. You're going to fold it in three, like trifold, like this. And you're going to stick this. The envelope goes in here. And then you're going to just put it inside of the Ziploc bag. Once that is inside of the Ziploc bag, there's a yellow tape that says, do not tamper. You're going to take that tape and just put it over the top part, sealing part of the Ziploc bag. Drop it in an envelope, get a DDC pre-printed label, and drop it off. The results doesn't come back to you for DNA. It goes back to the client. Okay? That is the collection. This video is going to be saved so you can replay it over and over so you guys can see. All right? Like I said, you do have the DNA products where you can sell DNA kits for whatever price you want. Just make sure you have the pricing fee schedule that is on the group so you can go ahead and charge correctly so you can make sure you have enough money to pay the lab for doing your tests. All right? There's also the peekaboo option. These are, these are all part of the retail. You have to be a nurse or a phlebotomist, you know, someone who knows to draw blood to do this. But this is also an option, okay? Anyways, guys, we have meeting, a pop-up meeting at 7.30. Go ahead and uh, make sure you check below this post. There's another. There's a post before this for the link because I need you guys to join in, especially if you're a mobile lab or if you have not started your business yet. Please join the live tonight at 7.30. It's going to be quick hour. Questions because I'll be ready to answer them. Okay? Have a good evening. Ciao.